Hi, my name is Madison Rye. Myself, along with Ilya Nazarenko from the channel team here at Siemens, are here to talk to you about remote licensing for Solid Edge. We here at Siemens, along with our partners, want to make sure that you're able to stay safe by working from home and that you have the tools to do that you need to do that. If you're using Solid Edge, you have one of these license types, either node locked, cloud enabled, or floating. A node lock license is tied to your machine. So if you have a laptop at work and you have a node lock license uh, on that machine, you can just go home and use it, no problem whatsoever. If you have a tower at work, then you'll want to consider the three options, because obviously you don't want to take your tower home. You'll have, there's three options on the next page that we'll talk about. A cloud-enabled license allows you to access your license from any machine that has Solid Edge loaded. And if you have this type of license, you'll know it because you had to request it specially. If you don't, don't worry about this. Just use one of the options that we give you on the next page. A floating license is your most common license used because it's a server at work that serves licenses out to the machines that are connected to its network that request it. So if you're connected to the network at work, you can use it, or if you're VPN'd in from home, you'll have no problem using this type of license. If your internet isn't fast, or if you're unable to VPN, then you probably want to take into uh, consideration these three options. With every production license, you get a home use and a travel license. And with floating licenses, you can borrow them. So the license borrow allows you to borrow a license from the pool at work and take it home on your machine. A home use license is intended for a person who's using a production license at work to be able to load Solid Edge on a machine at home and have a license to do that. And then the travel license is an additional 30 days of licensing that you can take on your machine with you uh, to travel or to work from home. So that starts January 1st. It tracks how many days you're doing that. We're going to talk about each of these in detail, but before I do that, I just want to let you know that we're here to help you. So your channel partner and Siemens is behind you, helping you work from home. So if you have any issue with any of this, these licenses or can't get them to work, we'll give you a like an emergency license that will help tide you over. So don't get frustrated. Call your channel partner for support, and they'll get in touch with us. Now I'd like to introduce Ilya Nazarenko. He's going to talk about each one of these in detail. Ilya? Thank you, Madison. Work remotely can become a fact of life for you and your organization. So today we're going to focus on uh, several different options that uh, will help your organization and you to accomplish this. First stop would be home use license. Home use license is uh, very useful when uh, you need to work from home. And uh, the following steps outline the process of activation of this particular license. First of all, you need to access license management website. And you, you see the link right there on the screen. Then you would have to have a couple different uh, pieces of information, like web key account. And another one we're going to talk about this on the next slide. On the license management pa page, you click product activation. You choose the product and version you want to activate because you might have different options there. And uh, then by expanding the version information, you can select actually which type of license you want. In this case, you, you would select home use license type. Then you click continue. And then uh, system gives you option to create new machine to activate that particular machine and assign that product that you choose to this machine. Uh, you can enter the name of the machine you want to create, and the name doesn't have to be the same as a network name. You can define uh, pretty much a different name if you want to. Uh, and then you need to enter Composite 2 CID number for that machine. Uh, later, we're going to talk about how you obtain this information. And then you, create, uh, you click Create to gener generate your new license. To add products to the newly created machine, you click Assign Products. And after the machine appears uh, with appropriate list of products, click Finish. And uh, to complete your activation, you save the copy of the license to your disk. You can save it even on the desktop or in a specific directory that can be accessed later. Some additional notes that pertain to home use license. Keep in mind that this is not actually a production commercial type of license. So uh, there are some uh, requirements that to be uh, met. First of all, 
if software is permanently stored on a hard disk or other storage medium on a standalone computer, then only one person that uses that particular computer more than 80% of the time, only that person may be using this home use license. And it can be used either on a portable computer or on a home computer, either one. So home use uh, allows customer to grant uh, licenses to be used on the employee's home machine as well. And they're not intended, as I mentioned earlier, they're not intended to extend commercial licenses and may not be available in some countries. Usually the home license expires after six months. So another type of license we're going to talk about today is a travel license. Uh, this, this, li this type of license is useful when uh, you're on the road and you need to do some work uh, when you're off uh, campus of your property of, uh, of your company's uh, uh, premises site. So uh, with travel license, uh, you can obtain it, obtain it using uh, this particular uh, link that you see displayed there. You access license management website and you, you need uh, two different uh, pieces of information. You need web key credentials and you need the composite to ID. Uh, number. We're going to talk about this later, how you obtain this information. Um, then on the license management page, uh, you can click on product activation and choose the product and version that you want to activate because the company uh, might be using different type of add-ons and different type of products. Uh, by expanding the version information, you can also select which type of license you want. In this case, you select travel license and then click continue. Next step, I will ask you to create new machine to activate that particular machine and assign products to, to that machine. Then you can enter the name of the machine you want to create. And the name of the machine doesn't have to be the same as a network name. It can be something different. You enter composite 2, CID 2 number of the machine you identified. And then, then you click create to generate your new license. To add the products to this newly created machine, you click Assign Products, and then after machine name appears with the appropriate list, you click Finish. And finally, you will save all that uh, newly generated license to your hard drive for later access. You can save it on a desktop or any particular directory that you can make note of. Some additional notes that pertain to travel licenses. The travel license policy allows uh, maintenance paying customers to temporarily use Sardage off-site, as we discussed earlier, if you travel or even if you work at home. Usually customers are granted 30 days per year travel allowance for each Sardage license they own. And the count gets reset on the January 1st of each calendar year. Customers can generate licenses from 1 to 30 day duration per trip, and it will automatically expire after this duration. And very important note here, uh, these travel licenses are tracked by Siemens PLM software license site. So each time the license is granted, the site automatically de de decrements this count from uh, the allocated licenses. For customers that have a floating type of licensing setup. Um, there are also options to work on, it, on, on the road or at home using option borrow license. Let's take a look at uh, this particular option. As I mentioned, this is another way to obtain a remote license if your company, again, uh, is operating on a floating type of licensing. You can check out license from the server and then disconnect from the network and run Solid Edge offline using that license. Again, you don't have to be connected to, to the server to do that. SolidEdgeLicense.lic, that's the file actually that contains all licensing information. And it usually has entry, borrow equals n, 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 n. So this, uh, this entry indicates that your license file is compatible with license borrowing. This value usually represents the maximum number of hours this particular license can be borrowed for. So SolidEdge uses Siemens PLM software licensing tool to manage borrowing and returning licenses. And it's easily accessible under SolidEdge folder in your, uh, in your start program directory. You can use graphical user interface or command line. The tool is 
quite flexible. So how do you borrow license? You go pretty much on a, uh, in, the, in your Windows environment, you go start Siemens Edge 2020 or 2019, whatever version you're running, license borrow. Then click borrow settings and click borrow. The borrow license list in, in the list, select applications for which you want the, the license actually to borrow. And optionally, you can set up the date when you expect to return this borrowed license. The duration of borrowed licenses is up to 120 days. Then click OK, and the dialog box updates to display the license being borrowed. And again, as I mentioned, optionally, you can modify this return date. But in this particular situation, we suggest that you use maximum number of days because we don't know the, the outcome of uh, today's situation. So you can go for maximum number of days. Let's talk about additional information we mentioned during this uh, presentation. How do you obtain composite ID number? This is important information because, as I mentioned, in addition to web key account, you need this piece of information to successfully log in into that website. So the process is quite simple. You have three different ways of accessing composite to number. You can uh, read the number from installed seats, if you have already seats installed within your company. You can obtain the number from a product activation web page. And you can run executable, which is called getcid.exe utility, and it's located in the program directory of uh, under Edge installation. Let's talk about the first method, reading CID2 number from installed seeds. Quite easy. You, st you go uh, start Siemens Edge 2020 or 2019 license utility, and you can read that composite 2 CID2 number right underneath of the license server information. Quite easy, self-explanatory. Second method is uh, get this number from a product activation web page. So from a system that already has Solidage installed, open the web browser and access license management website. The link is right there. You can click on it. And then click get number. Simple as that. And utility will run to deter determine the composite 2 and the number is displayed on a web page. And finally, you can, uh, you can access the same information with the uh, executable, getcid.exe, which is in the program folder, as I mentioned earlier. It's under Siemens or wherever you have Edge installed. And then in the program folder, you'll find this executable. You just run it, and it will get you composite to value. Or you can use. Um, DOS window and run it in, in that environment with the command line. Again, very flexible options. Now, after you went through all these processes and you obtain your license and it's stored somewhere on your desktop or in a folder that you can get easy access to, uh, we need to talk about how you actually install that license so you can run SolidEdge. It's quite easy. Once you activated your license and you have it on your desktop, let's say, you have the option to provide the location of the license if you install in SolidEdge Fresh. Let's say you have your home computer, laptop, and you didn't have it installed before. You can run installation, and during that process, you can select the location and point to that particular license. Uh, second method would be uh, using SolidEdge License Utility, which is again found under Licensing Folder in the SolidEdge uh, folder in the Start menu. In uh, SolidEdge, from the start menu, you choose SolidEdge 2020 or 2019 license utility and select the license option, I have a license file. It's uh, depicted in the a, in a slide on, on the right, right hand side. And then you uh, browse to, the, to where you have that file saved, whether it's on desktop or in a folder. And then uh, to complete, you complete license and you click OK. So hopefully you see that we provide many different options to address situations where you need to work remotely, especially in today's uh, environment, today's situation. And uh, you can definitely take advantage of any one of those options and successfully run Edge from home. 
Uh, if you if you ha need any assistance or you have some problems, you can always uh, contact your local channel partner and they will help you through the process. We understand how important for you to be uh, productive during these challenging times, to be able to work from home remotely, and we're here to help. So we'll help you all the way to make sure it happens and that uh, you stay productive. Thank you.